everyone, my name is Seth with Spoken Gospel. For the last 1600 years, Christians around the world remember the last days of Jesus' life during Holy Week, and today is Good Friday. Good Friday remembers the day that Jesus was condemned by Pilate, crucified on a cross, and buried in a tomb. Now, the Jewish court system had found Jesus guilty of blasphemy and deserving of death. But Rome had different standards of what deserved the death penalty, and only they could execute criminals. So the chief priests drag Jesus before Pilate and claim that he's a tax evader and an insurrectionist who calls himself the king of the Jews. They want Jesus dead. When asked what should happen to Jesus, they convince a growing mob to chant, crucify him crucify him. Jesus then is immediately flogged and carted off by a troop of soldiers to be tortured. They hammer his sentence to the top of a cross. This is Jesus, King of the Jews, before nailing his wrists and ankles to the beams. But then Jesus asks God to forgive his tormentors and promises a guilty man crucified next to him that he will see him in heaven soon. Jesus then dies. But at that exact moment, a curtain in the Jewish temple is torn in two. Symbolically, that curtain blocked access to God's presence. But once a year, a chief priest would go behind that curtain and sprinkle some blood on a box called the mercy seat. And in response, God would forgive the sins of the high priest and God's people regardless of what they had done wrong. Today's verse is from Isaiah 53, 5, and it says, Jesus was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. And the punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. Like a good king, Jesus took responsibility for the failures of his subjects. He was pierced, crushed, punished and sacrificed for the sins, failures, and cruelties of his guilty citizens. And when that curtain was torn in two, he offered his mercy and pardon to the same people responsible for his death. And they were just the first. Good Friday is good news because Jesus' death is his first edict as a king. And he announces that there is forgiveness for all people in him. So I pray that on this Good Friday, you will accept Jesus' death in your place.